Hi, this is Chris from Free Library of Springfield Township coming to you today with an activity of making your own watercolor. What we're doing today is using paper, a Ziploc bag, and markers. So what I've done today is I've created some already to show you examples. I've done some here, one that I've done that I've actually already decorated, one that's undecorated, and then one that I actually did on a note card. This I'm actually going to take once I write the note, I'm actually going to address it to somebody. And this is just going to create a real nice decorative way to send something to somebody. But the one I'm actually going to show you now is how to do it, actually do it. And what I'm wanting to create is I'm actually wanting to create a sign to put up in my office that will actually ultimately have this piece on the front of it that will have live, love, laugh glued to it. So what I'm wanting to create is a, the watercolor in the background and then have this glued on top of it. So ultimately it'll look something like that when we're done, but it's going to be on a bigger piece of paper. <clears throat> so how we create this is you start with your piece of paper, you get a Ziploc bag, well, any kind of bag, Ziploc just being the brand, and you make sure that it is the bag itself, not counting the actual zip compartment, is large enough for the size in which you want to be able to transfer the watercolor. And then you get whatever color markers you want, and then you take and you color on color on the bag. Okay, so now that I've colored on the bag, what you do next is you take water, and I happen to have it in a spray bottle, or you can, if you don't have a spray bottle of water, you can take and you take a glass of water or from the sink and spritz it with your fingers. Just need to get a little bit of water on here to bead up the marker. Okay, I see how in spritzing that water on there, how I've gotten this marker to kind of like bead up. That's what we want to do. So once we've done that, we're going to take the zip lock bag and we're going to flip it over and get it in the center of where we wanted to have the, mark, the painting. And then we just start to rub. And all that water and the marker We'll start to take this and go back and forth. Now this is actually going to be kind of cool because not all of the marker got water. So I'm actually getting a combination of watercolor and a marker design. So I'm going to get kind of splotchy and the watercolor. And you always want to kind of have a paper towel on hand because some of this depending upon how much water you had, could get a little splotchy. So you see I have some here that is the, what the, is the marker just directly on the bag, and then this became ultimately the watercolor. And if you take your paper towel when you're done and you wipe off your bag, you can use your bag again and do this over and over again. So now once this finishes drying, I'm going to take and I'm going to take and glue this down, and then I've got myself a nice little picture. So between the two, I've created a nice little piece of art for my office. So you can take and make your own watercolor now out of markers and paper and a Ziploc bag and put it on any kind of paper. I recommend that you use something that is a little bit heavier than actual copy paper because it needs to be something that has a little, ooh, that's going to curl now that it had some water on it, um, a little bit of grit. The note cards are a little bit thicker. This was uh, watercolor paper. This just happened to be drawing paper, but it needs to be something that has a little bit of substance because once you put a little bit of water on it, um, you'll see even these are uh, buckling a little until they dry out and then they'll flatten. So 
Um, use something that's got a little bit more thickness, it can be construction paper even, uh, cardstock, um, but something with a little bit more thickness to it than just copy paper. Thanks very much for joining me today. Be safe, be well, and look forward to more crafts and ideas from us coming soon. Bye.